Ohio State owns the Big Ten. They have for quite some time. They are still the bar in the conference. Welcome to the Voice of College Football as we break down the Power Five and records for every team in the Power Five. Leave your record projections below because I may get a little pushback on this one here at the Voice of College Football. Best discussion, debate, and analysis. We are here talking college football with you every day. Call-in shows, live streams, content posted constantly. If you've got any requests, certainly leave them. Right now, we're running through the predictions. And after we get done, conference championship games, which, yes, will include Ohio State and uh, beyond our playoff predictions as well. Okay, here we go for the Buckeyes. They open with a new quarterback, of course. He is C.J. Stroud on the road at Minnesota. Tricky environment, tricky situation on a Thursday night, but the Buckeyes will survive and they'll be fine against Minnesota. They beat Oregon. They have always beaten Oregon. Of course, those matchups don't matter, but 9-0, the all-time series, it's a nice little nugget. It's meaningless. The Ducks will have a legitimate shot to beat Ohio State in Columbus, but the Buckeyes are the better team overall and at home, and they will get through that challenge as well. Then a bit of a respite against Tulsa, a pretty good football program under Scotty Montgomery, Akron at Purdue. Uh, at Rutgers, I'm sorry, the road, the road game against a Greg Schiano and company. And then a tough little stretch for the Buckeyes. Maryland at home could be a little tricky. The, the Terps have some serious speed and firepower. At Indiana is the game that, uh, for those that are picking Ohio State to lose a game this year, it's typically at Indiana that people are eyeing that game concerning considering what we saw against Michael Penix and the Hoosiers last year. Of course, Penn State's always a tricky spot. Penn State has played the Buckeyes tougher than anybody, tougher than anybody over the last five, six, seven years. All right. At Nebraska, the Buckeyes have just bludgeoned Nebraska on a regular basis, aside from the last trip to Columbus um, back in 2018. Purdue, Michigan State at Michigan, that should be a closing run of wins there for Ohio State. So the big threats, of course, Oregon, and I will include the Minnesota game on the road, considering the circumstances and a high-powered Minnesota offense. Oregon's a huge threat in Columbus, believe it. Also, of course, Penn State and Indiana. Ohio State wins the Big Ten Eastern Division at 8-1. and one. They go 11-1 and one overall. Who do they lose to? Penn State beats Ohio State in Columbus this year. That's your one loss for the Buckeyes. They trip up against Penn State. There you go. There's the record, 11-1, 8-1. Again, once we get done with all the teams, our conference championship games picks, and the playoffs right here at the Voice of College Football. Lock it in.